Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and I was talking on the live show about how the Terminator changes and how the gray line changes with season. It isn't always static exactly the same. That's why some times of the year are better for certain types of signals. It is because that uh, zone where it's daytime, nighttime, shifts in size and in shape. So this is on, of course, on a map. So that's why it has this weird round shape, because the Earth is actually round. So this is January 1st, what it looks like. So you have, of course, the North Pole is in darkness. You have a very short here. You see that the time that we spend in the Northern Hemisphere in daylight is actually very small. And it's much bigger nighttime. And, of course, if you look down in the southern hemisphere, it's the other way around. Lots of daylight, not a lot of nighttime. But as you move along in the year, look at the shape change. You see it change as, of course, the pole will slowly get more sunlight. But at the same time, days are getting shorter on the southern hemisphere. So it's squeezing. And notice how this shifts the positioning of the gray line. So to give you an idea, January 1st, if the gray line would be roughly where it is now, so it's close to where I am in Montreal, um, you know, any stations in Northern Europe, Eastern Europe would be in that gray line path. India would be in there. So there could be a path of listening for stations in that range or that region sorry now let's move it to March let's go to March the 20th where it's the equinox a little bit like now when we are in September look at how it's two parallel lines on a map right now notice that if I wanted to have gray line here now that gray line shifts to Asia for me. And as we go into summer, look at that. The gray line shifts in that direction, which means that if we position the time to be, it's with 12 UTC here, if we position the time so that the gray line actually gets into Montreal here, of course it's going to shift to the east here also. It means that Japan, uh, Australia, all of these, um, you know, uh, South Pacific is in that gray line zone. It's time to listen to Korea, Japan, and so on. There is a constant shift throughout the year of that gray line, as you see here. So, and as you move on, the gray line will then shift back again into the equinox that we are right now, September. And as we continue, we'll go back into another shape that looks like January we had earlier. So that shape shifting due to the fact that the Earth is at an angle of 23 and a half degrees makes the gray line change where you will be listening to during that gray line throughout the year. That's why certain countries are easier in certain times of the year than others. Um, it's something that is n difficult to visualize without like a little map like this, but that shifting gray line also shifts your listening experience. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.